was back on the track 56 laps down and no sooner did he come back than trickle had this pop and Dick says heck I've driven cars like this let's just fire up and go yeah well like I've said a ride in a wrecked race car is a whole lot better than a ride in the ambulance any day amen to that oh, look at the back end of that car just pushed looks like, right to the back looks tire. like looks like it went under the fence it's it like one of those old gremlins or something let's take a, another look here and see exactly what we can find out. That's Kevin LePage there with him. He just gets up a little high and, uh, well. I don't know if there was contact or if it was air. It's or if it just went. It's hard to say. Oh, to, man. Oh, man, that was a lick. He hit hard. But knowing the uh, trick like I do, I think he may have got nerfed. See the coil spring come flying out of the back end of the car? Yeah. That's how hard he hit. Took the spring out. But you also notice no fuel. No that's, problems in that regard. And that's most important. No yeah. fire. But I really couldn't tell. We'd have to get an update there when we hear from Dick Trickle uh, as to what transpired there. Glenn Jarrett's on the pit lane. Guys, I just asked his crew chief, Brian Schaefer, if uh, Dick said if uh, the 88 car got into him, he said yes, definitely. He did nudge him just a little bit, so that helped him along there. So uh, yeah. what we could see there was... Uh, Pretty much kind of what I thought. It was really hard to tell, but Brian said, yeah, that uh, the page did get into him just a bit. And there you see NASCAR officials and some media members beginning to check things out. That's the way racing happens. Quick at Dover. Out on hand here for the Saturday activities. The NASCAR Bush Series leading up to tomorrow's Miller 500 for the NASCAR Winston Cup teams. Here again, a look from Dick Trickle's in car at the spin. Around she goes. Uh, uh, camera didn't like it either. I think it speaks for itself. <laughs> Chad Little, give us an update. Doesn't look pretty. Well, we're down here in the garage with the dejected Dick Trickle, and um, obviously you can see the wreck. Um, it's, it was pretty bad. Dick, can you tell us what happened and if you're okay? Well, you know, we were we were just riding there, for, you know, trying to save our tires after 50 laps. Goodyear said our tires look the best of anybody's because we we're trying, uh, we we're really trying to, to hold our tires because I knew the end of a run was going to be troublesome. And we're just riding along there, finding a spot that nobody wanted to push. Got a little tap in the 88 car coming off of two, and that's all it takes here, you know. It does. Just take a little tap. Are you all right? Yeah, I'm pretty good. You know, I hit the ball pretty hard, as you see here, but uh, no, I'm fine. It's just, it's just a shame because we had, you know, we could have possibly won the race. I'm sure a good top three car here, and you know, here it is, uh, bumper to bumper damage. You know, and pretty early in the race for something like that to happen. All right, back up to you, Eli. All right, Chad. Dick Trickle was sixth in points. Now it's time for our Big A driver of the race. It is that gentleman, driver of the Channel Lock car. After a couple of seasons of frustration, Phil Parsons and the Channel Lock team are looking strong in 97. Ten top ten finishes and 14 races. Sure, they want to win, but they also look at the big picture. You know, I tell people it's, it's too early to think about points, but it's not too early to chase points. I mean, you know, we've, from the time, from really, from December 1st on, we've thought about points. Uh, and, and have, have concentrated on ways to try to, you know, get all the points we can get. Now, that doesn't mean that we're not trying to, trying to win races. That's, that's our primary goal is to win races. Phil Parsons having himself a 1997 season that, heck, who knows, could yield a title because he's been so consistent. I tell you, I've been totally impressed with Phil, his concentration and his dedication this year to uh, what, he's going, what he's out of, uh, doing trying to win this championship. He has never run so well, he's never driven better, and he's got a great team. And I'll tell you, I've been a big fan of his all year long because he's been very impressive all year long. I don't know, I've said it before, too, but he's also had some good luck on his side. He was He's missing accidents <laughs> this year that he was slap in the middle of a year ago. You got yeah. it. They used to say he needed glasses, and they said sometimes they needed close-up glasses, sometimes far away. They don't say that anymore. No. He has done an absolutely wonderful job of avoiding the problems here. We're set to go back to green. There you see Phil settling in line right now. I think just to follow up on that, there's a lot of guys out there that need glasses if you go by that. <laughs> <laughs> we could open up an optometrist office yeah. here and have them thrive. I'm huh? sure the trickle by LePage is set right now. <laughs> Pace car. 